Hi there. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, geolocation accuracy within Matomo Analytics. Just going to be very basic. Um, so the first thing that you need to know is that there have been some changes over the last version of Matomo Analytics, and right now the default geolocation of Matomo is not uh, very accurate. Okay, that's not the fault of Matomo. That's uh, due to a change which have been made within uh, the policy of uh, the geolocation provider that uh, they are uh, historically using, which is MaxMine. And as a result, well, it ends up in uh, a manual additional step configuration that you need to do in order to get uh, a good geolocation accuracy. So uh, when we talk about geolocation within Matomo, that's something that you can uh, check by going over here in the setting, and then you go on the left over here, system, and then you select geolocation. And here you get the different scenario for different database that you can use. By default, it's going to use, in fact, not the IP address, but it's going to use the language of uh, the browser. At least that's this is how... Uh, I understand it, uh, which of course end up in things like this. This IP address, for example, is an Australian one. And as you can see, it's uh, indicating that the country is the United States, which of course uh, is not uh, true. So in order to get a better geolocation, what you need to do is that you need to select this one and this one will be selected and uh, going to be name installed on. So you do the following thing that you go on a, uh, the maxman database so normally here uh, you should see but i cannot see it anymore because I, I installed it but you should have a link in order to say okay please click over here if you want to download the database then change its name and then upload it on your server so through ftp ssh or whatever you want and then change the name of the file accordingly in order for it to be recognized by matmo once it's done, uh, well, uh, that's great because the uh, geolocation is going to work with uh, more accuracy. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to click over here on install. I'm going to click on save. And now it means I'm going to use this database that I previously uploaded. Then uh, once uh, you do so, uh, so you are interested in having uh, the information uh, Australia, for example, in my case over here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to delete this, uh, this data which was IP and it was uh, 245, something like this. Oh, wasn't. Uh, <laughs> that was the data of today. Uh, hold on. Which one was it? Do you see 245? Uh, no, nope, I don't. Sorry, I just got a lack of memory. I'm just going to come back back in there and uh, that was 45 248 okay 45 248 so i go over here and 45 45 dot 248 okay this one so i want to delete this given a visit um, then in order to double check what you can do is that you can use uh, this given uh, service so it's called hide my ip it's a chrome extension and now if i uh, load back this given page it should be indicated as coming from coming from australia let's double check it so visitor and it should be australia brisbane and that's it Hope you enjoyed this video.